Hi everyone, it's a pleasure to be sharing with you again on another episode of Life Nugget. What I do on this platform is to bring words inspired by the Holy Spirit with life experiences and the Word of God to bring inspiration, hope and encouragement to someone with the aim of ensuring purposeful living, emotional and spiritual wellness. I was particularly encouraged by a parent who shared with me that her daughter was encouraged by enjoying the process which was a counsel I gave to my daughter who was feeling overwhelmed with schoolwork and our daughter was also feeling the same way. We thank God for his word and I pray that as the Holy Spirit inspires us, you and I will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Today I'll be talking about what I've titled Live by Principles. Principle is said to be a proposition of value that is a guide for behavior. So when a man has good principles, he will be guided correctly. In the book of Matthew chapter 22 from 36 to 40, the Bible records that the Pharisees came to Jesus and they asked, which is the greatest commandment? And Jesus answered, the two of them. Number one is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind. And number two is to love your neighbor as yourself. When I look in that passage all the time, I see Jesus Christ giving us as Christians the basic principles of Christianity. You see, there are different rules and things we need to obey in the Bible. But Jesus was basically saying, for you to be able to excel as a Christian and to live out the expectations of the Lord according to his word, is to understand these two basic principles and let it be a guide for every other thing that you do. And I confirm that because Jesus himself said to them in verse 40, that upon these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. For you to live out your life as a Christian, you must understand these two basic principles. If you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and your mind, you would please the Lord. And when you love your neighbor as yourself, you will not sin against the Lord in anything that would harm your neighbor. And that is what life also demands of us. For us to have principles to be able to excel in life. One of my first encounter with understanding that life is lived by principles was as a young girl in secondary school. You know, I'd gotten into secondary school also admitting that math was hard not to crack. And then in my form two, I realized that there's no magic to this thing. There must be some principles that guide how these things are solved. So I decided to learn the principles. And guess what? When I understood the principles to each topic, I started to excel. I got excited. I left secondary school, math being my best subject until today. I'm still very much in love with figures. You see, to excel in life, your life must be based on values that will help you to excel. Just begin to think of your core values. Those values help you to be able to leave difficult circumstances. You see, a lot of people master situations and they just want to apply it to every other one. But I tell you, life is never like that. Every situation is unique. Everybody's situation is unique. So even when we have mastered a solution in one person's situation, it might not fully work for yours. But when you stand upon a principle, you learn the principle, you live by it, it helps you to excel. And like they say about life, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. What are the right principles guiding your life? What are the values that guide every behavior that you do in life. Wallace D. Wattle says, let your thoughts be ruled by principles, then live up to your thoughts. What you leave out starts with your thoughts. And this man says, let those thoughts be guided, be ruled by principles. Thomas Jefferson says, in matters of style, swim with the current. But in matters of principles, stand like a rock. Circumstances will come to challenge your principles in life. But when you understand the principles you should go by in life, then you will know when to stand and stand by your principles. 
principles are like wisdom nuggets on which, which helps you to apply your knowledge. Dwight D. Isenhua said, a people that values its privileges above its principles will soon lose both. So it simply says, person that is seen by the world as lacking principles will not be seen by them as deserving the best of life. And George A. Patton says, is, a leader is one who can adapt principles to circumstances. Our Lord Jesus Christ was faced in John chapter 8 with a circumstance that he had not seen before. A woman caught in adultery was brought to him and he had been teaching about love. And the people were waiting to see how he was going to apply the law of Moses. But he decided to go by the principle of love. And that situation was dealt with in the most appropriate way. When you have principles and you stand on them, you are able to navigate life and apply your principles to any circumstance that comes your way. So I'd like to leave you with a question today. What are your principles? What are the fundamental values of your life that guides everything you do? When you have discovered them, live by them. And until I see you again, choose right, choose life, and stay blessed. Choose Rights, Choose Life invites you to its first anniversary program. Join Pastor Adeni Kare for a special time out on the 12th edition of I Choose Life, our talk show of victorious testimonies. The theme, It's Not Over Until God Says So, featuring a powerful testimony by the guest of the month. Music ministrations by Ife Shadow from Maryland, USA. Bumi Praise from Winnipeg, Canada. Guest minister all the way from Lagos, Nigeria. The pastor in charge of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Youth Brothers 3. Pastor Olaoli Abiyoye. Date is Sunday, October 31st, 2021. And time is 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. West African Time. Watch on YouTube channel CRCL TV. Come receive your testimonies because it's not over until God says so.